Hello to all the viewers of Yearn to Learn. Here I am with a new video on seven activity ideas to celebrate Independence Day. This is specially for primary classes, but all of these activities are equally modifiable for senior grades as well. Friends, I will come up with one more video for senior classes, which would have more of learning and fun and creativity in it. Let's begin with this one. In 2021, we are going to celebrate 75th Independence Day of India. Let's begin with the activities. The first activity is Phenomania. In it, students would have fun and learning side by side. I'm going to give you a few examples. You can create a game where they need to find the odd one out or you can go ahead with what example I am taking. Which of the places are real places in India? So these are the funny names of places. Students have to identify which is actually a town in India. Poo, Koo or Loo. Could you guess it? Okay, let me tell you. It is Poo. Poo is a town in Himachal Pradesh. Next is Khoda, Kachua, Gada. Do you know this one? Okay, the answer is Gada, it is in Gujarat. Is it funny? Okay, next one is Korod, Erode and Rust. I am not disclosing the answer for this one. It's your task. Find it out which is a town in India. Korod, Erode or Rust. And give me the answer in comment box below. I have one more. Mauritius, Malaysia and Singapore. Now here I have deliberately taken wrong spellings of the country names. Malaysia, Singapore and Malaysia. Why deliberate wrong spelling names? Because I am referring to a town in India. So that's how I have taken wrong spellings. But one of the spellings is correct and it is a town in India. It's Singapore. It is in Telangana. So this is a game that you can create and students would have fun because the names are funny. If you want to add more of knowledge factor and uh, sensitize students about made in India products, you can have a mixed bag of say toothpaste and let them identify Indian ones or you can take the mi mixed bag of beverages and let them identify the Indian ones. So this is how they will gain knowledge, they will have fun they would guess, they would share their knowledge and it would be India based activity. The second one is ID crossword. ID Independence Day crossword. So you can give them a crossword themed around the Independence Day. You have to give them some words that they have to find or you can give them hints and they have to fill the crossword puzzle. So a few suggested words are freedom, democracy, flag, green, orange, white, India, chakra. So these words you can give and they have to find from the grid. Now, if you want to stop here and the class level is uh, not high, so it's fine. But if you want to add more learning to it along with taking this activity, you can further extend it by asking them to make sentences on the words that they have identified in the crossword grid. For example, they'll make sentence of whatever words you have given. Now again, you can pause here or further extend it by asking them to use these words and create a story of their own. It could be fictional or non-fictional. So this is how you can take it as an activity and as per their grade level, you can decide yourself how you want to present it. The third activity idea is free hot potato. I have used hot potato in many of my other videos. So hot potato, you know, you have to pretend as if you have a hot ball or hot potato in your hand and you're throwing it to someone else. So the purpose is that um, the other person uh, does not have any time to think and he or she has to reply immediately. So when I say free hot potato, I am focusing on freedom, independence. So hot potato themed around Independence Day. So how we can do it? 
if uh, the children are uh, a bit older so you can take it in this manner like the first one has said india the second one would say a word related to india or freedom or independence day but starting with the letter a so it would be admirable say and then it is ending in e so third child has to say a word related to this theme but starting from e so it would be ethnic say and then again the letter last letter is c so the word could be constitutional the other child can say a word from l liberty like this it can go on but if your children are young you can just ask them to say whatever comes to their mind for example when they hear india so patriotism or any song or uh, religious or ethnic incredible any word that comes to their mind irrespective of the letter the world is ending in so it's your choice how you want to take it the fourth activity is the indian i idolize again modifiable your choice your decision i am suggesting the child has to dress up as the indian person he or she idolizes and share the reason for the same so if the child is in grade 5 or in middle level then this you can do that they have to give reason why they idolize so and so person but otherwise if you are taking a primary class you can simply have a fancy dress competition themed around independence day where students can dress up as freedom fighters leaders soldiers military officers etc and introduce themselves in character fifth idea is tricolor themed party this is the gala activity the gala party and yes you can take it in online mode as well how let's see children may dress up in any of the colors of the national flag so you have a dress code color coded class and have a party themed around independence day and uh, when i'm saying that they have to dress up they just don't have to dress up they can also have any tricolor eatable prepared by them and this is how they can sit in their class primary students could celebrate this day by preparing tricolor sandwiches by doing everything themselves under the parents guidance and you can float a message one or two days prior so that they are ready with all the ingredients that they need to use besides sandwiches tricolor candles rice idlis pasta etc can be arranged or made partial preparation can be done prior to the class under parents supervision teacher can also create a virtual background having tiranga and school logo to give a holistic feel of independence day teacher can channelize discussion about unity and diversity various foods or ask questions related to how they could contribute to make india better so if you want to see how to change the virtual background i am giving link in the description box below and it is also flashing on the upper corner of your screen so please watch the video for zoom or google meet whatever you are using how to change the virtual background the next activity is <coughs> freely read aloud so it is not just reading it could be speaking any sort of speaking that they can be allowed in the class organize virtual activities or competitions that better suit your class level and it could be virtual competition or just simply an activity where everyone is participating you can take elocution patriotic poem recitation or singing patriotic songs any debate speech or you can just take a simple reading activity where they are reading from their book but any patriotic poem having fervor for their country before I, before i move on to the next and the last activity here is the time for the shout outs let's have the last seventh activity it is virtual food mela yum yum students could join their virtual class by preparing dishes unique to different states of our country teachers may also allot different states and union territories to students so as to cover all parts now how would it help them besides having the yummy cuisines they would learn about the culture of various states of the country 
they may say a few words on the food and culture of the state or union territory that they are uh, representing so this is again fun and children would enjoy and learn side by side this is the last one thank you for watching and here's a gentle reminder do not forget to like share and subscribe yearn to learn and yearn to learn wishes all the viewers a very happy independence day